Triple C, the king of cringe, is constantly on social media trashing fighters. This time he sends Dana White a message via Twitter. Yo, at Dana White, I just want to give you a quick taste of what I would do to your rent champs at 125, 135, and especially that overgrown midget at 145. At Alex Volkanovsky, hashtag bend the knee. Ariel Helwani reported on Twitter that the former UFC middleweight title challenger, Yoel the Soldier of God Romero, was now a free agent. Yoel Romero's UFC run has come to an unexpected end. Romero and the promotion have parted ways, multiple sources told ESPN. Romero's manager has also confirmed he is no longer under contract with the UFC. According to sources, Yoel Romero had three fights left on his deal. We're, we're going to go through some serious cuts here at the end of the year. Probably going to have 60 cuts coming up before the first of the year. Um, and Yoel has is, is, uh, lost four of his last five. He's 44 years old. Um, you know, our, our roster is very inflated right now. So we're going to have some big cuts coming before the end of the year. You're going to see a lot of, a lot of names going here in the next uh, several weeks. So with Yoel, just it's that simple. I mean, I think people were saying, was there some weird negotiations happening? Oh, no, or no, no, was there no. something with USADA or anything like that? Nothing like that. No, we were just literally starting to go through the list. And, you know, he's 44. He's lost four of his last five. And, um, you know, these are the tough decisions you got to make. Anthony Rumble Johnson parts ways with the UFC and looks to sign with Bellator. According to Ariel Helwani, Anthony Rumble Johnson is headed to Bellator. Rumble has agreed to terms with Bellator, per sources. He hasn't signed his deal just yet, but is expected to. Larissa Shields, maybe the greatest female boxer of all time, joins Jackson Wink MMA to train with Holly Holm and John Jones. Clarissa took to Instagram and posted the following. This transition isn't one to be taken lightly. So much respect for at Holly Holm already, but even more that she came and did some kicking drills with me and just added knowledge. As I go through this process, thank you champ. At Johnny Bones, put in hours today of goaded techniques and drills, exciting times. Henry Cejudo sends a message to Jake Paul via Twitter. I had no idea this dirtbag at Jake Paul was a fanboy. Sign the contract and you might have your dream of meeting your idol, Triple C. P.S. I'm sending digital autographs for you, baby. Jake Paul responds to Triple C. I'm a huge fan. You're the midi champ. But it seems I'm your only fan because the purses I buy my girlfriend are worth more than your fight purses. Where are your pay-per-view numbers at, champ? Conor McGregor posts some live sparring footage for his up and coming fight against Dustin Poirier on January 23rd, 2021 at UFC 257. Daniel Cormier and Ariel Helwani discuss what could be next for Yoel Romero. Late Friday night, uh, I broke the news that the soldier of God himself, Yoel Romero, 2000 silver medalist, freestyle mm -hmm. wrestling, Sydney Olympics. Well, you know about Sydney Olympics. You know nothing about the Sydney Olympics. I was not there at the time. Romero I was in college. Is no more.
is no more yeah. in the UFC. Crazy. Released from the UFC with three fights left on his deal. Lest we forget, it's been a crazy year. His last fight was for the belt against Israel Desanya. A lot of people thought he actually won the fight. It was not a good fight. It was not an entertaining fight, but it was <laughs> close. And now here he is at 43 out of the UFC. Your reaction to the Yoel Romero release? I was surprised. I was surprised that Yoel's gone. Um, but, you know... This is a much different situation than Anderson. There are many people that are going to want Yoel's services, and he's going to be able to go and fight somewhere else. Very surprised, though. I didn't expect him to be leaving the UFC, especially right now. Uh, I, I don't. I don't know. I don't. I, I don't know. I don't know if this was a mutual. I don't. I don't. I don't know. It just. Well, let me tell you a little more, so you can okay. frame your thoughts. Okay. Mm -hmm. Here's the thing. Number one to your point that you just made, surprisingly, I'm told Bellator not interested. I'm told PFL not interested. Surprisingly. Really? Yes, surprisingly. And so there's Ryzen, there's One, there's KSW. I just hope that Yoel Romero, one of the all-time best wrestlers in the history of the sport, I'll never forget, I'm in, uh, I'm in Brazil, 2011, UFC 134, Rio de Janeiro, and Captain Eric Albaracin comes up to me and writes the name Yoel Romero on a piece of paper and says, hold this paper. This will be one of the best fighters in the history of the sport. Now he leaves the UFC as one of the best to never win a title, but what a run for the past seven or so years. I just hope he doesn't end up in like bare knuckle or something like that because he deserves better. He deserves to be fighting yeah. on his terms for a big promotion. Mohammed, the best defense in the heavyweight, the best move in the heavyweight. But, shorty man, did he box him? Mm -hmm. He beat him one time. Everything is possible in your life when you believe. When you believe, everything is possible. You have a two hands. 